Okay, so let's take a look at how you can use GDevelop to move from one scene within game to another scene. So make sure that you have GDevelop installed. And next thing we can do is open GDevelop. And I have already created one project. Currently, I only added two rooms. So over here you can see room one and two. Okay, so let's open room two as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add objects in both of these rooms. So first thing with room one, add an object. Let's add a sprite. If you can get menu specific graphics, that would be even better so that this example would be not clear to learn as well. So here I have used this login button. Okay, I'm going to save it with name btn1 or bt1 okay next thing we're going to drop it on scene okay right after this i'm going to save this okay now let's see how it looks okay so it looks something like this if you want to make menu similar to this by adding in more buttons you can do so okay now after this what I'm going to do is go for room 2. Now here also I'm going to add one object which is going to be a sprite. Okay. So let's see I will add object name moon and add that animation. Here you can see I have moon and I'm going to apply it. There are multiple sprites for this but I'm not going to add them. Just going to add enough for room 2. Okay, so next thing, click on apply. Okay, make sure to save this. Okay, so I'm on room one and I'm running. Okay, now here you can see I'm on room one and I want to go to room two. So I'm in process to add event for this. So what should be the event? So there are many ways you can do this. You can use uh, touch based gesture or you can also use your mouse okay so we'll use that so room one events and here what we'll do is we'll search for mouse and touch conditions so choose your object button choose other conditions then go for mouse and touch now here you can see mouse will scrolling down up and then mouse button release okay so you can choose mouse button release or mouse button pressed or touch held select mouse button pressed which is going to be left click ok now once you add this okay we'll find out what action to add so let's say when that button is pressed i want room one moment to be switched to room two so select action for your object other action scene now here you can choose to pause your current scene and move to next scene okay, okay. or you can change the scene And here you can choose between your room. Okay, stop any other bot, stick, bot scenes. Yes. Okay, so current scene is room one. You want to change that. Okay, so click on OK. Save this. Go to room one and run your project now here you can see i have to click on this button login right it will take me to room two currently there are nothing over there so no things over there that means we have to add something so go to room two add something unique so we already added object moon we will drop it here right now we can resize it a bit right 
then go for save right then go to room one now what i'm going to do is run this okay now here what we have to do is we have to click on this particular button and we are on room two okay so i'm thinking of this as more or less for those menu specific games okay so from front page of that game you can move to respective areas within game okay like keeping scores leaderboard or setting sound options you can use this form of change scene option for moving to respective scenes or you can say levels or even pages for such operations you can use this simple way to move between your levels scenes or rooms